Well, the internet has spoken and Jake Paul's whole campaign to end cyberbullying by confronting Cody Ko backfired. So in this video, we're gonna discuss why that happened and if you're somebody who is wondering why people don't listen to what you have to say, you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned to this video. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community or pop culture and try to see what lessons we can learn from them because what good is watching all this stuff go on if we're not trying to see how we can apply it to our own everyday lives. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. Now, real quick, uh, just kind of uh, house cleaning update. Um, I just recorded episode two of the podcast, which I'm launching very, very soon. So make sure you're following me over on social media. I'm using podcasting as a platform to do more long form content because one thing about YouTube is short attention span. So I'm really trying to have another place where I can discuss things in, in a long form, right? So I can express fully my ideas, my thoughts, my opinions, and everything like that. So if you're into critical thinking, that's kind of what I'm going for with this, is just try to look at different situations from different angles. So follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at The Rewired Soul, all right? So, for those of you who don't know what's going on, a bunch of content creators are chiming in on the situation where Jake Paul confronted Cody Ko for being a cyber bully. I already made one video about this, just explaining kind of the difference between uh, cyber bullying, comedy, and everything like that. I highly, 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 highly recommend everybody go check out the Jarvis Johnson video on this. I'm gonna link it down in the description below. But Jarvis brings up a very good point about power dynamics, vulnerability, and things like that. So technically what Cody Co does is not cyberbullying. So go check out the Jarvis Johnson one, all right? But anyways, again, the purpose of this video is for all of you. I'm giving you context by using the Jake Paul situation, but my goal is to help all of you understand how to get people to listen to what you actually have to say because we all want to be heard, okay? So Jake Paul is absolutely baffled right now. He doesn't understand why this backfired so much in his face. So two tweets that he sent out after the launch of his video. The first one says this, this generation we live in is disgusting. From the beauty community drama this week to people taking a serious message about cyberbullying and turning it into a joke because quote unquote Jake Paul said it. Where's the good? Where's the fun? Where's the love? Too many negative souls. Next, he retweeted Ethan Klein from H3H3 Productions. And he said this, if someone goes to jail, when they, when they come out, are they not able to have a positive voice or do anything good because they went to jail? Just a thought, but also F Jake Paul. So yeah, like when I'm reading this, I'm like, oh man, this poor guy, he just doesn't get it, right? But I'm somebody who also used to not get it, right? Like in, in Jake Paul's perspective, he did a good thing, he was sending out a good message, and he doesn't understand why it didn't get consumed in the way that he expected it to, all right? And this happens with a lot of us. So what I wanna talk about today is how to get people to actually listen to what you have to say. And the first thing I wanna talk about is having an authority on something. You have to be an authority on something before you can speak about something, okay? And here's, here's the two main types of authority. There's academic authority, all right? So academic authority is you went to school for this thing, you have a degree in this thing, right? So if you got a degree in biology, you're pretty well versed in biology, right? So you have an academic authority because you have this degree in this thing. The second type of authority is life experience, all right? If you have life experience to back up what you are saying, you can then have authority on this topic that you're talking about. Now, when it comes to academic versus life experience, Everybody weighs these things differently, all right? The perfect example that I can think of was when I was working at the Addiction Treatment Center for three years, there were many clients who preferred me running groups rather than a therapist. Now, I would say objectively, like neither one is better or worse than the other. You just get two different types of groups. But many of the therapists 
who were my coworkers were not addicts or alcoholics in recovery, but I had life experience authority. So how does a guy like me with no degree in any way, shape or form when it comes to addiction or mental health, how do I command authority when I, I run a group? Well, think about it. When I am standing in front of a group of 60, 70, sometimes it was over a hundred people, why are people listening to what I have to say? Well, I have a few things going for me. The first one's pretty obvious. I work there, all right? So they didn't just hire some random guy. Obviously they hired me for a reason. So that's one reason I have authority. The next one is I'm coming up on seven years sober, no drugs, no alcohol, all right? So they're looking at me and saying, okay, well this guy has actually done the thing that I'm trying to do. Maybe I should listen to him, all right? The third reason I have some authority on that is people sitting in treatment centers are usually trying to figure out how to make their life better. So I have, an authority on talking about how to improve your life because my life no longer sucks since I went through years of overcoming my addiction and becoming a better person. So if you don't have either academic authority or some kind of life experience authority on a subject, guess what? nobody is going to listen to you. And this is exactly what happened to Jake Paul. And this is why people were bringing it up and not taking his message seriously. Because in this situation, Jake Paul was trying to take a moral high ground, but one would argue that Jake Paul is currently doing things that are morally apprehensible, all right? So here is an, an anecdote for you, all right? So when I was working at the treatment center, my uh, actual role, uh, my title was lead alumni coordinator. Part of my job, one of the many aspects of my job was helping people after they left treatment, helping them with their sobriety. Um, if they had a friend or family member who needed help, I was more than happy to talk to them and everything like that. Well, anyways, I had a client and he, he stayed sober for about six months and he just kind of said, screw it, stop doing everything that was suggested of him and he started drinking again. And he would call me up drunk all the time, right? And most of the time I didn't answer his phone calls just because that's, that's a whole different aspect of it. But if you're wondering, don't talk to people and try to help them when they're drunk or high. It doesn't typically work out too well. Anyways, one day he does call me while drunk. I pick up the phone and he is currently sitting at the bar and he is drunk. And, he, and he's sitting there and he's talking to me and he's completely confused about the situation because he's telling me while drunk, keep that in mind, an alcoholic who relapsed and is drunk. And he's telling me, Chris, I have a friend here who has a problem drinking and she won't listen to me and get help. Well, think about that for a second. What authority does he have to tell somebody to stop drinking if he is an alcoholic who is currently drinking? Are you following me here? So think about this in your own situation. What authority do you have to speak on certain subjects? Do you have an academic authority? Do you have life experience authority? Okay, like some people, you know, don't understand why they're screaming into the void of Twitter. It's because people are often looking to you and saying, okay, what authority do you have on this subject? Unless you roll the dice and you get some followers just purely based on confirmation bias, it's typically not going to work out very well for you. Now, the other aspect of this that I really want you guys to think about is why you care so much what other people think. Because sometimes we get caught in this situation where we forget that the person giving us this information is not an authority on a subject. Here's a great example, all right? Let's say you go back home for the holidays and you're having this dinner and your aunt Betsy is there. She, this woman has had seven divorces. She is absolutely miserable, always in a bad mood, hates everything. Now, Aunt Betsy is talking to you, judging your love life, okay? Like sit back and think about the source of this criticism. Is Aunt Betsy the best authority to critique your love life? Probably not, because she has no life experience authority on that subject, seeing as how, how many failed relationships she's been in. So the trap that Jake Paul fell into is that he has not earned the right to take the moral high ground against anybody, okay? Not to toot my horn, but if I went in there and talked to Cody Ko, which is a completely hypothetical situation because I don't consider him a cyber bully in any stretch of the imagination, but 
me going in there would be received much differently. Why? Because I have life experience, all right? In my addiction, I was a terrible person. I would lie, cheat, steal. I was an awful human being, right? I, over years of hard work, arguably, I am not a terrible person anymore. So if I were to come out and talk about cyberbullying, it would be much different than Jake Paul, who is still doing a lot of questionable things. All right, so I think the last pitfall that Jake Paul had was his own hubris. He believes because he is such a large creator, because he has such a large audience, which he forgets is a bunch of children, he believed that he had the authority to take the moral high ground and talk to Cody Ko about cyberbullying. And this is a problem that we see all the time with rich people, famous people, celebrities. They, they got their fame from being a good actor or a singer or whatever that is and then they try to be an authority on something that they don't have life experience with or an education on. So one of the other issues that I'll bring up just because we're on the topic, like being rich and famous, what we're all learning right now, doesn't exactly mean that you know how to run a country, all right? So the moral of today's story is don't be the drunk guy trying to tell other people how to get sober. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul so you keep up to date when I launch my podcast and all that good stuff, all right? But a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing and I'll see you next time.